Dem strategist Rajinsky says, we don't know how to talk to normal people. We're not the party of common sense. And I 1000% agree with her perspective there. Um, when they tr when they projected, basically used classic, classic projection and said that Republicans and conservatives were weird, they, <laughs> that's not true. They, again, that was, they were projecting. The Democrat parties are the one that's is is the one that's weird, but they didn't want us to call them weird, so they called us weird. Cause look at the stuff that they've been pushing with this woke stuff and the mutilation of children and um um uh, how they call uh, Latino people Latinx and <laughs> all these other crazy stuff that these people in their ivory towers came up with. With normal average people was like, wait a minute, this is kind of weird. We don't believe in these weird things that y'all pushing. And, and they try to make it known, but the Democrat Party completely ignored them and continued to push their agenda. And that's how we ended up with this um, Republican uh, uh, Donald Trump um, um, blowout here. So um, we're going to play this clip. We're going to talk about it. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account. So follow me there as well. All right, so let's get into this news. Now, this comes from uh, Breitbart from Pam Key. And she reports that Democratic strategist and CNN contributor Julie Rojinski said Thursday on CNN's newsroom that her party cannot speak to quote unquote normal people stating that it was quote not the party of common sense again i totally totally agree with that they turned off people they would attack normal parents and call normal parents terrorists because they didn't want certain agendas pushed on their on their children and all these other things that the um the left continued to push they lost a lot of normal average americans behind it so let's play this clip here we go Inspired later on, perhaps this wouldn't be the situation, and we'll never be able to know, right? Um, what do you say to that? You know, I'm going to speak some hard truths to my friends in the Democratic Party. This is not Joe Biden's fault. It's not Kamala Harris's fault. It's not Barack Obama's fault. It is the fault of the Democratic Party in not knowing how to communicate effectively to voters. We are not the party of common sense, Facts. which is the message that voters sent to us. For a number of reasons, for a number of reasons, we don't know how to speak to voters. When we address Latina, and language, listen, language has meaning. When we address Latino voters as Latin X, for instance, because that's the politically correct thing to do. It makes them- And they can't stand it. It was a survey that was done years ago when they first came out with that term. 80% of them was like, 80% of Hispanics was like, yeah, we don't like being called Latinx, like or Latinx or whatever you want to call it. What, what is that crap? We have the, you go in and you try to change languages because again, you, you do some academic that said, hey, we need to make, we need to make these, um, um, make these uh, gender neutral uh, language decisions and not <laughs> confer with any um, normal average Hispanic. Of course, they're going to be upset with that. That's why. Um, the, um, they had an overwhelming support um, for um, um, Hispanics, overwhelm Hispanic men in particularly, um, supported Trump the most from um, um, Hispanic men than any uh, conservative Republican in history. Um, so this goes to show that these things that they were pushing, people didn't want. But again, they continued to push these things. Something that we don't even live on the same planet right. as they do. When we are too afraid to say that, hey, college kids, if you're trashing a campus at Columbia University because you're unhappy about some sort of policy and you're taking over a university and you're trashing it and preventing other students from learning, that that is unacceptable. But we're so worried about alienating one or another cohort in our coalition that we don't know what to say when normal people look at that and say, wait a second, I send my kids to college so they can learn, not so that they can burn buildings and trash lawns, right? Back. And so on and so forth. When we put pronouns after names and say she, her, as opposed to saying, you know what, if I call you by the wrong, wrong pronoun, call me out, I'm sorry, I won't do it again, but stop with the virtue signaling. And just yes, 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 that is absolutely factual, absolutely true. I don't play the pronoun games. 
I'll call you with um you want me to call what you want me to call you out of respect, but you don't have to do that whole she he thing, she her thing and all this other stop with that mess. Normal average people don't talk like that. Why are y'all pushing it on people that don't want to do it? But again, we're going to respect you. If you want to be called a certain thing, we'll do that. But stop with these labels and stuff. It's ridiculous. Just speak to people like they're normal. There's nothing I'm going to say to Sir Michael that I'm not going to say to you, that I'm not going to say to somebody else. I speak the same language to everybody. But that's not what Democrats do. We constantly try to parse out different ways of speaking to different cohorts because our focus groups or our polling shows that so-and-so appeals to such and such. That's not how normal people think. It's not common sense. And we right. need to start being the party of common sense again. Joe Biden is not responsible for that. Neither is Kamala Harris. It is a problem that Democrats have had for years. I've been banging the drum on this for, I don't know how, probably 10 years, if not longer on this. We need to get back to being the party of common sense that people look at us and say, we understand you. We appreciate what you say because you speak our language. And until we do that, we should stop blaming other people for our own mistakes. Facts, facts, facts. So true. Man, she's right. But I don't think the Democrat Party is going to listen to that. They're not going to listen to that. They're not going to change their tune. They're going to continue to do what they're doing, even though it's not working. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think the Democrat Party is going to change or try to um, use common sense and appeal to the average American? Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.